Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, well, you know what I'm here today for. We're going to talk about the NFL's Week 4 results in my picks. And then I'm going to give you the Week 5 pick results. Well, the picks that I'm going to make and then... I guess next week we can discuss those results. But uh, we will discuss my week four results, which weren't good. Let's, I mean, let's be honest about it. I was eight and eight last week. I mean, you could go ask a monkey at the Ross Park Zoo. And I'm not even sure where the Ross Park Zoo is. Maybe near where I grew up in near Binghamton, New York. I, I don't remember, but uh, you could ask a monkey to make 16 picks and they might get eight right. And that's what I did. So that means on the year I am 38 and 26. So I'm slipping. I'm slipping people. So that is the, now, the good side is that that's the worst I've done so far, and I've had years, I've had seasons where I've had weeks a lot worse than 500. I've been sub 500. I definitely have. So, um, eight and eight, I'll take it. Um, Again, there's always that, you know, couple of games that just, you don't, but I, as now, as you will remember, if you watch last week's, I did say that it was going to be a tough week to call, and it turns out I was very right about that. So we're going to get into this week's picks, week five coming up. Now, week five has only got fourteen games. There are only fourteen games this week: the uh, Browns, Chargers, Seahawks, and Buccaneers are all on a bye this week, which is good because a few of those are hard teams to call. So we're going to start out on Thursday, October 5th. The Thursday night game is a game that's near and dear to my heart, and that is my Chicago Bears going to Washington, or coming to Washington since I'm in the Washington area. Uh, They are coming to Washington to take on the Commanders. Now, The Commanders have a fairly good defense, and Sam Howell seems to be getting better every week. And he has offensive weapons like Terry McLaurin. On the other side of the ball, we can't say really any of that. Now, the the Bears almost beat Denver last week. They lost 38-31-28. And they had like a 27 to 3 lead or something incredibly ridiculous like that and ended up losing. And they went for a fourth and one late in the game and they didn't get it. And um, uh, Fields threw an ill advised interception late in the game, which was a bad idea. So they could easily have beaten the Broncos, but they ended up losing to them. And the Bears are on a 14-game losing streak. You go back 14 games, it stretches back into last season. They have lost 14 games. And they are allowing more than 25 points per game. So what all of this boils down to is I'm taking Washington at home. Go with Washington. That takes us to the Sunday, October 8th games. The first one on that is the Jags at the Bills. Now, the Jags were impressive last week in um, uh, in England playing against the Falcons. But that was the Falcons. This is the Bills who dismantled Miami last week and wants to establish that, hey, they're the best team in not only the AFC East, but the AFC and the NFL. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Bills here. The Bills are at home. They're on a roll. I think that their loss to the Jets was a wake-up call for them. 
take the Bills. Next one you got is the Saints at the Patriots. The Patriots looked horrible last week. Absolutely gotten their asses handed to them. And uh, the Saints, you know, the Saints are the Saints, but they have a very good defense, at least you can say that about them. I think Carr is expected to be back. He did, he, actually, he did play last week. I wasn't sure if he would. But he's got another week to heal, to have healed a little more from his whatever injured hand, whatever happened there. So we're going to say that uh, we're going to take the Saints on the road to beat the Patriots in New England. You got the Titans at the Colts. Now, the Titans looked very good last week. I, I got to give them credit. I didn't think they were much of a team. <laughs> but they, <laughs> they looked very good. Uh, but the Colts, I'm taking the Colts at home. You got to go with the Colts at home on this one. Next one, you got the Ravens at the Steelers. Now, the Steelers are a team that I, I could gather some of my friends from back home at our ages in our 50s and we would score more points than the Steelers so um and the uh, Ravens really look good they I think they got a wake-up call from the week before when they lost to someone that they should potentially have beaten and uh, and I I don't expect anything to be different here this game is in Pittsburgh but it's not going to matter Unless the Steelers can come up with a completely different offense, which I'm sure they can't. Next one you got is the Panthers at the Lions. The Lions, again, this seems to be the Lions' year. I'm just going to have to say that this is the Lions' year. And uh, the Lions are at home here. We're taking the Lions. Next one you got the Texans at the Falcons. Now, against my better judgment, I'm going to in this one. I yes, I'm going to go with the Falcons at home. Uh, the Panthers are, um, or the uh, the the Texans are still a. Uh, I think they're still a work in progress. They played impressively last week. Um, C.J. Stroud, it seems like he's hitting his, um, you know, he's he's hitting the, hitting the ground running. Looks like he's picking up the offense really fast, doing a great job. He's doing a great job. But the Falcons, you got to believe that the Falcons, I don't, I mean, they're two and two. They they're a scrappy team. They run the ball a lot. They have to because Ritter hasn't really come along. Uh, as as well as they were hoping yet, but like I said, against all of that, against that entire backdrop, where you would think I would say I'm going to take the Texans in this game, no, I'm going to take the Falcons. Next one we move along to is the Giants at the Dolphins. Now, if you saw the Monday night game where the Giants uh, played the Seahawks, it was laughable. They don't have an offensive line. They can't protect protect. Um, uh, Jones, Daniel Jones, and uh, and that forces Daniel Jones to make a lot of terrible mistakes. He got sacked 11 times by the Seahawks. That was one short of the all-time NFL record for a single game. So, um, and the um, and then uh, and then of course on the other side, this game is in Miami, and it's the Dolphins that they're playing. I mean. You know, again, <laughs> again, I explained all of the downfalls that you've got with the Giants, where I didn't really need to because they're playing the Dolphins, who are just great. I mean, they're great. All right, they didn't beat the Bills, but they're great. So I'm going to take the Dolphins at home. Uh, the next one you got is the Bengals at the Cardinals. You know, um, the Bengals, they're having a terrible year. They're just having a terrible year. Burrow is all kinds of injured. He might have an injured elbow and an injured leg. He's not 100%. He's certainly not 100%. And he's not the Joe Burrow that we're used to. And the Bengals' defense isn't really playing that great either. But you know who is playing better than everybody expected, I think, to this point? The Cardinals. So this is going to shock some people. Um, especially a particular Cardinals fan out there that I know, but I'm taking the Cardinals at home to beat the Bengals. I think that's going to happen. 
Next one you got is the Eagles going up against the Rams. Now, the Eagles are undefeated, but it's like a smoke and mirrors thing because they're barely beating teams and they're not looking very dominant at all. Their offense doesn't look as good as it should look. Their defense doesn't look as good as it should look. And the Rams are an exciting team. Everybody expected they would be the second worst team in football. But that's turning out not to be true. Um, in fact, we thought the Cardinals would be the worst team in football. It turns out it's really the Bears. But um, the Rams are exciting. They got that new young receiver. I forget his name. It's a crazy name. Uh, but Cooper Cup, I think, is coming back or is back. Um, you know, and this game is in L.A. I'm taking the Rams. We're going to go with the Rams over the Eagles in a surprising one. It's maybe a an upset special, or maybe it's not. I don't even know, because I don't know what the line is on that game. Next one you got is the Jets at the Broncos. The Broncos beat the Bears last week, and they did it with an impressive comeback. And um, they seem to be playing a little better now, um, and they're at home. But you know what? I'm going with the Jets. I think that the resurgence, and it looked like from the Sunday night game, I think it was Sunday night the Jets played, uh, that there is a resurgence going on with Zach Wilson. Looks like he's getting a little better. It looks like the light bulb went on, maybe. And if the light bulb went on, you know he's got the arm strength. Everybody says he has the arm strength. And um, he, uh, and, and I think... I think he's figured it out. I think he's figured out he's got to get the ball out quickly. Um, he was able to throw downfield. Um, he still makes mistakes, but he's still young and a little bit inexperienced um, because the Jets have benched him from time to time. But even though this game is in Denver and the Jets are on the road, I'm going to go with the Jets. Next one you got is the Chiefs at the Vikings. This was a, uh, wasn't this a Super Bowl? This was like Super Bowl four maybe i want to say it was super bowl four um maybe three i don't know um but anyway you got the chiefs at the vikings vikings are home in this one and again i'm going to make a surprising pick here i'm going to say the vikings will win this game because the chiefs just it, kind of like the eagles the chiefs are doing really well but when you watch them you don't know how they're doing really well because it's unbelievable I mean, they almost lost to the Jets. So, you know, and they they tend to play down to their competition. Against the Jets, they got out to a 17 to nothing lead. And they ended up winning the game something like 23 to 20. So, you know, like they got out, they zoomed out to 17 points, and then they just sat back and waited. And that's they tend to do that. And uh, sometimes they can hit the gas at the end of the game and, uh, you know, and, and do what they need to do to kind of pull the, the rabbit out of their hat. But the Vikings are up against the wall. They're at home. Kirk Cousins can still throw for a ton of yards. I'm taking the Vikings. Uh, the next one you got is the Cowboys at the 49ers. I'm going to surprise some people here. And I'm going to go with the Cowboys on the road to beat the 49ers, who are home. The 49ers are good. Now, the, now the 49ers, unlike the Eagles, um, they are not a smoke and mirrors team. They're, they're good. They're legit. But I think the Cowboys, this year, I think the Cowboys are something special. Better than they have been in the past. Now, if you go down the uh, record, the 49ers are undefeated. They're 4-0, but their, av their average points for is 31. Their average points against is 15. Now, Dallas has lost a game, and they lost to the Cardinals, and that was, that, that was really a hiccup, a, a bump in the road, and every team is going to lose at least a game. Uh, but, yeah, they shouldn't have lost to the Cardinals. But even though they have a loss, their average points for is 34, and their average points against is 7. 7 points. They average allowing 7 points per game. One touchdown. 
So the defense is there. The defense is definitely legit. And I think Dak is a, is a good quarterback. I think they've got, with McCarthy calling the plays this year, I think that they're a lot better. They're a lot more, um, they're a lot more balanced and they have a, they have a better attack. And even though this game is in San Francisco, I got to go with Dallas. I just got to. That brings us to the uh, Monday, October 9th game, and that's going to be the Packers at the Raiders. The Raiders, again, I think they're a wishy-washy team. They're at home. The Packers, we don't really, again, we still don't really know what we've got with the Packers. But overall, I am going to, in this game, I'm going to go with the Packers on the road to beat Las Vegas. So uh, that's what I've got for everyone. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what games you disagree with me on. Probably going to be a ton of them because I picked a few that could be classified as upsets. But that's just how I feel about it. And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.